to pursue my degree course um, in economics. And my, my father, my parents were sponsoring me at the time, but my father went and ran into a few financial challenges, which made it um, difficult for him to continue paying my fees or sponsoring me. So I, at a point I had to stop. And so those are some of the challenges I had mm. to face, yeah. I had to stop, my education was truncated and I was just not doing anything. So I decided that instead of just sitting in London not doing anything, why don't I come back to Ghana and see what I could do? So I packed up my bags without any plan of what was going to happen in Ghana. This was at the age of 20, 21 or 22, and I just packed my bags and came back to Ghana. That okay, here I am. What did your parents um, say when you were attacked? Um, they were not happy because at that time everybody was going. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was getting a visa and just getting out of town, and here was I back coming out. back, you know. <laughs> and at that time, my my mates were in university, and so um, it was quite difficult and challenging for me because I had gone abroad to go to school and I couldn't finish, and I had to come back. And my mates were in uni, and yeah, I was at home without anything to do. So I decided to, um, I called up a friend. I said. Um, what are you doing? He said, I'm back in Ghana. I'm still trying to figure out what to do, you know. And um, he said, oh, I have a shop. You can come and sit in my shop. I said, okay. It's better than sitting at home. So I went to sit in the shop in Adabaka. So I was a store girl. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> no one would have thought. Yes. And yes. what were you selling? Well, the, the, the shop was selling lighting, lighting fittings. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So I was a store girl in Adabaka. <laughs> That's how I started <laughs> my career in Ghana, you know. 